What is your position at the moment on India's Citizen Amendment Act at the moment? Uh, I don't want to discuss that. I want to leave that to India, and hopefully they're going to make the right decision for the people. That's really up to India. Uh, President, yeah, good go evening. Go ahead, please. please. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank My name is Nilifa Sarawardi, an Indian journalist, and I have a very simple question. Now, back home, when you reflect upon your tour of India, the first diplomatic uh, visit to the country, how would you describe it? Uh, cultural diplomacy, Trump diplomacy, or do you have any other word for that? Well, first of all, I describe it as incredible because when I looked at the various things, like today, when we went, you probably saw where we were. And uh, when you look at all of the things that we've seen today, when we look at yesterday, the Taj Mahal and other things, in addition to working in between and even during where, you know, we worked very long and hard with representatives from India, most particularly with the prime minister. I, I just think it's an incredible country. It's got unbelievable energy. You see that when you come in from the, from the plane, when you see from I think I can say virtually from the plane to whatever venue we were going to, it was wall-to-wall -wall people. They've never seen anything like it. Somebody said it was the greatest greeting ever given to any head of state from any country. Now, India has more people than any other country, a little bit more than China. How a little could you bit describe tiny. it diplomatically? Is it Trump diplomacy, I cultural think, diplomacy? I think the diplomacy is, is a diplomacy of great friendship and respect. Okay. And I think it's going to all work out very well. I really do. I, I admire your country tremendously. I respect your prime minister tremendously. And I think it's really a diplomacy of friendship. And I think it's going to work out very well. Okay? Okay? Go ahead, please. Please. Go ahead. Right next to Steve. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. As you know, uh, the Chinese government recently ejected several Wall Street Journal reporters. Uh, what is your administration considering to do in retaliation to that move? Are you considering uh, banning or restricting the access the uh, Chinese journalists, for example, have to the United States? So I haven't really uh, been given a full briefing on that. We're going to look at it. We will look at it. It's something that I don't like to see. I don't think it's fair because uh, we give very good access. Maybe some people would say we give too good. I don't think I don't believe in that. I think we give very good access. So I don't think it's fair, but we'll have a decision made on that relatively soon. OK, thank you. Good question. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Venezuela. So will you allow yeah. Indian companies to continue to buy Venezuelan oil from third parties, especially when you have sanctions? Well, you'll be seeing limits. something on that in the not too distant future. Yeah. So there could be more stringent sanctions against there Venezuela? Could, there could be very serious sanctions. Or against the Indian companies continuing now, to buy What's happening the in Venezuela is so, so sad. Uh, people are starving. Here's a case where a country was wealthy 15 years ago and very wealthy 20 years ago, very, very wealthy, the wealthiest in all of Latin South America, the wealthiest, and by far not even a contest. And when you look today, they don't have water, they don't have basic food, they have no medicine. It's incredible what's happened in Venezuela. No, uh, we're watching Venezuela very closely. We don't like it. We don't like it. Not at all. Okay? 